So I want to talk to you about a really easy food that has so many health benefits and could make your fasting lifestyle so much easier. And it's ginger. And when I went to dive into the research on ginger, I started to think what would happen to our body if we went 14 days, two weeks, eating ginger every day. And here's what I believe will happen. And we all got to try it and test it and come back to this video and tell me if that happened to you because the information on ginger is really cool. There are three main things that would happen to your body that would transform in your body if you ate this incredible root every day for 14 days. The first thing that you've got to understand about ginger is that it's anti-inflammatory, it's an antioxidant, and it's anti-aging, and it's immune boosting. So remember, what I'm teaching you here on my channel is how to build a fasting lifestyle, which means that you know how to go into extended periods without food for healing, and you know how to use food for healing. So the benefit number one of ginger is that it will lower inflammation. So it is rich in a lot of different antioxidants that not only bring inflammation down in your joints, but a 2022 review actually showed it was the most effective at bringing down inflammation in your gut and on your skin. Okay, think about this for a minute. Where are all my women that are complaining about bloating? Have you tried ginger tea? Have you tried fresh pressed ginger juice to bring that inflammation down that happens when the body goes, the gut goes into that bloated state? Really cool concept to think about that nature would provide us something like that. Second thing, okay, where are all my weight loss fanatics out there? Everybody that's trying to drop more weight. Ginger can help you. Though the cool thing when, it, when you build it into a fasting lifestyle is it doesn't have a glycemic response. So you get to choose. You could use it in your eating window or you could use it also in your fasting window. So it literally speeds up your metabolism and helps you burn more fat and that's based off research. So one of the things that a couple of studies, I've got three really interesting studies for you here. A 2012 study found that two grams of ginger with a meal significantly increased the amount of calories you burned with that meal. Okay, let's think about this. How many of you love apple cider vinegar? We, we, uh, I can tell you from based off my videos, a lot of you love apple cider vinegar because it brings down your blood sugar after a meal. What if you paired that ginger? So you're not only using apple cider vinegar to bring down your blood sugar, so you, it, you don't have as big of a glycemic response, but you're then adding in ginger to speed up the burning of calories from that meal. That's, to me, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like we could really use something um, as simple as a drink with ginger, fresh pressed ginger and apple cider vinegar to accomplish those two things. Then another study showed that, they, this study was interesting because it was for 473 people they looked at, which is a pretty big um, sample size. And they found that people who ate ginger daily lost significantly more body weight than people who didn't. So it, it has this thermogenic effect where it clicks your body into burning fat. And another study in 2018 showed that it actually decreases the amount of fat your body will absorb during digestion. So overall decreasing the amount of food you ate. So from a weight loss perspective, it helps you burn more fat. It helps you, um, it helps you bring down or burn more calories and it helps with the absorption of food so that you're more full quicker. That's pretty cool, okay? Benefit number three is that it increases satiety. It makes you feel full quicker. So what ginger does is that it actually gives you this feeling like you've had enough food. Okay, I wanna, th I wanna talk about this for a moment because I found some interesting studies. A 2012 study said that people who ate ginger with a meal had significantly higher satiety and fewer food cravings than people who ate the meal without ginger. And another study, a 2018 review, found that it suppressed appetite. Okay. 
we gotta have a serious talk here. What is everybody trying to do with the weight loss drugs right now? They are trying, the biggest thing that I hear from people who have decided to go into to medications like Ozempic is they go, I'm just not hungry anymore. Okay, you can you cannot be hungry anymore by building a fasting lifestyle. And when you are eating, add ginger into your food because you're gonna burn more calories, you're gonna burn more fat, you're gonna help the absorption of your food, and you're gonna kill your hunger and you're gonna kill your cravings. That's everything you're trying to accomplish with taking these new weight loss drugs. Now you pair that with a fasting lifestyle that is tapping into burning your fat and you've got an incredible tool for fat burning that doesn't have the long-term side effects that some of these drugs potentially are showing to or proving to have. It's a much safer route. Now, the other thing that I love about ginger and uh, one of the ways we use it in my family is we have ginger juice. Now, I'm gonna leave a link for my favorite ginger juice company. It's called Ginger Lab. Um, Some of you will be able to order it and have it sent to you. It's fresh pressed ginger juice and lemon juice. And it comes in these beautiful jars. It's unsweetened and I drink it in my fasting window because it does all the things I mentioned and it helps elongate my fast. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle and all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. So some of you might wanna start to use ginger juice to be able with no sweetener to be able to extend your fast. Now, outside of those incredible qualities, we also know some interesting things about ginger as far as it's a superfood. So it's high in vitamin C, high in magnesium, which we definitely need to be able to make progesterone. Magnesium is the hero mineral of the day. And remember, when you are going into these longer fasted states, we often need more magnesium there as well to uh, help with the muscle cramping and some of the things that can happen, the brain fog that can happen when you're in a longer fasted state. But it also is high in B vitamins, which is great for energy. So when we rise above this need to find that quick fix and we commit ourselves to a fasting lifestyle and we're looking at the long game of health and we're saying, I wanna learn how to fast effortlessly, I wanna know how to eat food that supports my health and, and, and ignites my taste buds. We cannot leave ginger out of, the, out of the conversation because it has benefits in both of those windows. So make sure that you're including ginger in as many places as possible. Ginger juice is phenomenal. Um, I grate fresh ginger into salads. I put it over my sweet potatoes. I love ginger. You can put ginger in so many different places. It's an incredible tool uh, to help you build a fasting lifestyle. So if, if you do ginger, you love ginger tea, you have a a new way you like ginger, put it in the comments, the way that you use ginger. If this is new information, I just want to point out that here on my channel, I have done, I don't know, like 1500 videos over the, over the last several years. Um, and I'm really diving more into food. I want you to understand more the principles of food so you can really build this fasting lifestyle that just literally becomes effortless. So if you're liking all the food videos I'm doing, let me know. I got some surprises coming for you. Give me feedback. I want to know if you want to know more food because I want to talk about food more and I want to talk about how we clean up your sugar burner system so f- you can get into that fasted state, get those benefits even quicker than what I have been teaching you. So as always, I hope that helps. Okay, you're not losing belly fat. I get it. Watch this video so you know exactly how to get rid of your belly fat. So I really want you to remember that cortisol and belly fat, those go hand in hand. So as your belly is growing, it's not always diet related. It can also be stress related. 